James, um, we're here in Courtney Place. When, when and, and why did you start Photospace? You're a photographer yourself. I, I am a photographer. I just finished doing a degree in photography ah. at uh, what was then Wellington Polytechnic. Yes, yes, all oh, right, which has now got, still got a strong photography department. It has. Yes. Yeah. Um, and there had been Photo Fest 98 in Wellington, which was a big international festival of photography in okay. early 1998. Yes. Um, and I'd been one of the fringe exhibitors in that, and I met all of these other photographers who, who really had no place to exhibit because it was hard to get in on a, um, you know, a dealer gallery yeah. if you weren't, yeah. one, if you're a photographer, and two, if you weren't already selling your work for yes. significant amounts of money. So there was a need for a photography gallery. So yeah, Bill Main's Exposures Gallery had closed some time a few years ago. And, you know, photographers like myself were showing in cafes and like <laughs> yes. hotel lobbies and places like that, which was never quite adequate. And uh, I went on a little trip to Europe and I visited some galleries and I realised you could run a gallery in a pretty small space. Yeah. So when I got back, I started this, I found this place. And it started in one room next door to this room. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, I've gradually taken over room by room this end of the building. So I've, got, <laughs> I've actually got six rooms up here now. Six rooms. And um, you show an enormous amount of work. I mean, you've, you've yeah. got multiple exhibitions, an enormous community of photographers. It, to me, is as much a sort of a community space for photography or the photographic arts as it is a gallery. It is true? kind of a de facto photography centre. And, and, and of course a studio. We're in, yeah. in a studio right now. And behind us is, in the back of the studio, is a dark room. Ah, right. And also yeah, in the gallery yeah. next door, in the corner, is another dark room. So we actually have two dark rooms here. Oh, wow. And you do a lot of workshops, a lot of yeah. training, I guess, for photographers. Yeah. yeah, although I wouldn't call it training. <laughs> okay, yes. Uh, training is for, you know, <laughs> something else. <laughs> Photography is an art, you know. Yeah, You don't yeah. train artists. Um, in that time, in yeah. those years since the late 90s, I mean, photography has become a big part of the contemporary arts, whereas I think back then, it, you know, you wouldn't see it in a dealer gallery, you're quite correct. But that's not the case now. I mean, why are you still around? Is it still needed? I guess what I'm saying, because there are a lot more photographers in our dealer galleries, I'd suspect. Uh, not that many more, actually. Okay. Um, a few more. Look, I've been following that, that line of thought for 20 plus years. Yeah. And you know, everyone was talking about photography being the big thing and, you know, everyone will be collecting it and that. Right. And that really hasn't happened. I mean, there are a few more collectors right. now than there were, but it hasn't significantly advanced in terms of people buying photographs as artwork. It still hasn't got to where it should be. It's a lot more present in the public galleries, isn't it? I mean, oh, it yeah. was. But I, I don't know about that even. I used to go to public gallery photography exhibitions decades ago. I mean, they've been going along pretty solidly for, for a long time, as long as I've been interested. And I don't think that photography has picked up as much as people have hyped it up. Okay. So the fact is, I still can't draw a salary from the gallery. You know, it's, like, it's not like, you know, photos are walking out the door. <laughs> and for that reason, I'm doing the gallery how I want to do it. Yeah. You know, I'm not picking the exhibitors on the basis of whether I think I can sell their work or not. Mm. I'm showing work that I want to show and people who I want to show. And if their work doesn't sell and never sells, it actually doesn't matter. I'll mm. still want to show them. Well, this is a remarkable space to visit. I mean, in terms of these spaces that people might not know, in terms of being able to come in off the street and see a diversity of work. Um, you don't just show photography. No. So I'd like to, uh, and you've got this Anthony Davis show on at yeah, the moment. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and we just finished a Felix and Pascal Harris show. Right. So we've done two shows in, you know, since COVID that have n not been primarily photography. And I do that under the Gilbert Marriott Gallery name. Um, which we started in 2008. Okay. The idea was to show some artists who were not photographers, but who wanted to show in this gallery. And the other thing about that is photography galleries traditionally have attracted, you know, photographers, meaning people who kind of stand around talking about camera lenses and that quite a lot and swapping photos with each other. <laughs> and you can't really, you know, that's all very well, but I, I much prefer to attract a wider range of people to the gallery yes. and expose them to photography as well as other 
mediums. Yeah. So, you know, ceramics, installation works, mm. um, video. Mm. Yeah, we've had all of that and it, that's ongoing and we get a nice mix of people coming up mm. as opposed to just photographers or just people who are interested in photography, which is healthy, I think. Well, finally, you've got showing at the moment uh, Mary McPherson here, at least some of the work you've shown before here, uh, both a poet and a photographer. Absolutely. Um, Mary, your relationship with Mary probably goes back a bit. Yeah, I've been showing Mary's work for a while now. Um, it, in fact, the show we've got on at the moment is a kind of revisitation of her series, The Long View, which uh, photographs, urban landscape photographs shot in Auckland over about a four year period up to 2017. Mm. Um, I really like the work, it speaks to me. Mm. I've tried to photograph in Auckland myself and have had, had very little success. So when I saw Mary, <laughs> Mary's photos, I thought, yeah, that's, that's, that's how you do it. That's really good. <laughs> oh, well, let's go and see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's. <laughs> Hello, welcome. Hi, Mark. <laughs> now, uh, you're not just a photographer, you're a poet, but also uh, the uh, reviews editor for Photo Forum. And yep, I thought that's that, right. Yeah, I was sort of yes. in that role um, as to what you think of the, what is the place of uh, photo space here in Wellington, indeed New Zealand? Well, I, I think photo space has been an amazing resource for um, art photography. Um, it's It's been going for over 21 years um, and it's a very <clears throat> accommodating gallery. Um, I mean it is a dealer gallery but I think it's kind of a lot more than that. I think um, James actively looks to recruit young people and new people yes. and give them a chance um, and to show a really wide range of photography. So. I think it's an absolute treasure, really. Yeah, and Mary, yeah. as I said, you're a poet as well. Yeah. Photo, photo books has been a real passion of yours, I know, yes. of your own work and, and helping yeah. others. Uh, it's another aspect to this as well, I, 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 with, with, with the gallery as well. Um, yeah, I mean, I, James has been a place where I've been able to sell my photo books and um, also um, other people, James Stocks, other, you know, other photographers' books. He's yeah. a regular contributor to Photo Book New Zealand as well. Which, okay. Yeah, so d they're definitely um, intermingled. Uh, this body of work that you've yeah. got here, the long view, uh, yep. uh, it's a beautiful shot of, from my, my hometown, Tamaki Makado, mm. Auckland. Um, what's the genus, what's the, how did this series come to be? Well, it, it came to be because um, I was one day staying in a high-rise apartment at the end of Queen Street and looking out over the, the evening sky and thinking, oh, you know, there's the sign of the place that sends me my insurance bills and <laughs> there's the bank that sets those interest rates and yes. there are all these sort of corporate head offices and hotels and it occurred to me that Auckland Tamaki Makara is New Zealand's source of wealth and power. And as, um, I think that um, exhibitions are to me like a, a kind of performance, you know, if you think of them as being maybe like a ballet or something, oh, right. like you, you go and you have this really precious, memorable event that is ephemeral, it's, you know, going to come down off the wall, but the, the memory of actually seeing the print and what you can get out of a large scale print, I think is um, really important, yeah. Thank you, Mary. It's been a delight yeah. to talk to you today. You too. Yeah. <laughs>